Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about the Sony CF Express Type A cards in 2023. We'll discuss their price, recording time, and the positives and negatives of these cards. So, let's dive right in. Sony CF Express Type A cards have been in the market for some time now. In 2023, these cards are still going strong and have four different sizes you can choose from. 80, 160, 320, and 640. While still super expensive, it is awesome to have different sizes to choose from for your projects. One of the most significant advantages of the Sony CF Express Type A cards is their faster transfer speeds. These cards can achieve a read speed of up to 800 megabits per second and a write speed of up to 700 megabits per second. This makes them an ideal choice for professional photographers and videographers who require fast data transfer speeds when shooting high resolution images and videos. Truly unlocking your camera's features with these cards, it allows you to use the Sony camera to its fullest. The ability to shoot S&Q 120 and 240 in all eye is worth the price of admission in my eyes, as it makes it way easier to edit this footage. Without these cards, you can't even shoot S&Q 240 at all, which is a pretty big bummer, as it's such a nice feature to have in your cameras. Now, does it make it worth it to spend the $198 to $1,248 just for that? Well, that depends on your needs. For me, 320 gigabytes was the perfect size. Let's talk about durability. Now, owning the Sony Tough cards is for sure an expensive purchase. No matter if you're buying the V60, V90, or the Type A card. But I will tell you, peace of mind is there when you get one and hold it for the first time. They feel like little miniature tanks. These cards are built to withstand extreme temperatures and shock, meaning they are ideal for harsh environments. These cards are also waterproof and dustproof, which adds an extra layer of protection to your you know, sacred data. They are heavy and solid, and you know, even when you tap on them, you can really feel the great build quality. I have dropped these guys several times, and uh, I wouldn't expect like a SanDisk or other brand to break either, but I have had no problems with these cards after I've dropped them. I mean, don't drop them or run them over, but you know, things happen. You hear horror stories all the time about people shooting a wedding or a job and getting a corrupted file during or after the event. And I must be super lucky, either that or I just take good care of my cards, as I've never had that happen before. Knock on wood, wood. And I don't want that to happen, but I never had that issue with these cards, and I mean Sony Tough cards to be specific, not just the Type A cards, but any of them. And I really am just so happy that these things are so reliable and confidence inspiring. The buffer and recording times on these are insane. Now the A1 or the A7R5 will be different, but I have had limitless buffer on the A7S 3 with the smaller 12 megapixel sensor on that camera, the one you're looking at right now. I can basically shoot something until the card fills up or the battery dies or the sensor just breaks. Then the recording times are also great on the higher capacity cards, obviously though, right? They're higher capacity. But really over two hours and 24p all I, I can shoot an entire interview with one 320 gigabyte card and have some left over for B-roll and pickup shots. The days of watching my 128 gigabyte V90 cards time click away as I sweat having to stop the, the shot, they're gone. Now we do have a few disadvantages to these cards also, and here those are. The fact that these cards are proprietary to Sony cameras is kind of annoying. I know Sony wanted to create something small that they could control, but couldn't they have just used the Type B card, which gives us way more options and has greater read and write speeds and capacity sizes. I wish they would have done that, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And price. These cards are crazy expensive. You could buy an A6000 for the same price as this 320 gigabyte card right here. That's just nuts when you put it that way. Plus, you have to get the proprietary card reader, which actually is pretty cool. You can use the Type A or just standard SD cards in it. To sum it all up, the Sony CF Express Type A cards are a reliable and fast memory card option for professional photographers and videographers. Although they have limited compatibility and are relatively expensive, well, not really re relatively, they are extremely expensive, the speed and durability of these cards make them worth the investment if you require high performance from your camera or are looking for the most capacity you can get for it with speeds that allow you to do the job that you need to do. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys got something from this. 
hit that thumbs up if you like to, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.